What is up guys? It's Dan here from Baked by Dan and I am just like so super pumped to be sharing this recipe with you today. It's fall today when this video was shot is actually the first day of fall. So that means it is candy corn season, baby. So I wanted to figure out a way to bake with candy corn. Candy corn is pretty much like 75 to 80% sugar, if you didn't know that. And the main flavor in it is honey. So I figured, well, geez, why not make a candy corn buttercream? But I knew that it wouldn't really work out with an American buttercream because American buttercream is already pretty sweet and I knew that it would hide the flavor of candy corn. So I thought, hey, what if I use candy corn, since it's basically sugar, as the sweetener and stabilizer in a Swiss meringue buttercream? And I've been wanting to eat it out of the bowl by the spoonful. So stick with me and I'll show you how easy it is to make this candy corn Swiss meringue buttercream. So let's take a look at what I have here. I have a bowl with some egg whites. You can use fresh or pasteurized carton egg whites. I have over a pound of candy corn. You wanna get fresh candy corn, and I really like Brock's candy corn. I think it has the best flavor. I have some really soft, unsalted butter, a little bit of shortening, which you can leave out, but I find that it helps uh, make a smoother candy corn Swiss meringue icing. Um, some water, some white sugar. I'm gonna use a pinch of salt. I also have some vanilla extract and some honey. So the first thing we have to do to make a Swiss meringue buttercream is cook our egg whites and sugar over top of a double boiler. But we're also going to cook the candy corn with the egg whites and sugar. So first I wanna give this candy corn just a bit of a chop just to break it up and help it dissolve a bit easier in the egg whites. So I'll take my egg whites, I'll place them on top of some simmering water and I'm going to add white sugar, just white granulated sugar. And I'm going to add all of my chopped up candy corn. And I'll also add just a touch of water. That's going to help the egg whites get even more volume when we whip them into meringue. The water's also going to help the candy corn dissolve in the egg whites here. So basically what you want to do whenever you're making a Swiss meringue is whisk pretty diligently your egg whites, your sugar, whatever sweetener you're using, over your simmering water until all of the sugar, and in this case, the candy corn dissolves, and you want the mixture to be about 160 degrees. So I have a thermometer here uh, once it starts to really dissolve. And I will just give this a whisk. It's probably gonna take about 10 minutes. I'm letting you know, I know at first it looks like the candy corn is not gonna dissolve, but trust me, it will. So if we take a look here, I've been whisking this for about three minutes. And you can see I already have a bright orange mixture. The candy corn is starting to dissolve. And so right now I'm just checking the temperature. I'm looking for this to be about 160 degrees. And I know that once it's 160 degrees, which it is, the egg whites will be completely pasteurized and the sugar should be dissolved. We're gonna take it off of the double boiler. I'll whisk it for about another 10 seconds. And then I'm going to transfer it to a really clean stand mixer bowl. So you'll notice that I actually mix the egg white, sugar, and candy corn in a separate bowl. Some people do make their Swiss um, meringues or Swiss buttercream in the same mixer bowl they're gonna make the buttercream in. And you certainly can do that, but I find that if you heat the mixer bowl up on top of the double boiler, it takes even longer for the meringue to cool long enough to add your butter to, because you can't add butter to a hot meringue or you'll have soup, you won't have buttercream. So I'm going to transfer this entire egg white and candy corn mixture to my mixer bowl. So I'm going to whip it on high for about five minutes and then lower the speed to medium and whip it until it's stiff, glossy, and the bowl is cool to the touch. So I have a medium peak meringue, so the peak of the meringue stands up and then it kind of bends over, it doesn't stand up nice and straight. So while this is stiff enough, it's still not cool enough, so I could keep mixing it, but I have a tip for you. It's not traditional to do this, but when you're making Swiss meringue, you can pop the bowl into the refrigerator for about five or 10 minutes, and it will get rid of some of this residual heat that's right down here by the base of the bowl. Then when you throw in your butter, you're not gonna have a soupy mess. So I'm gonna pop this in the fridge for just a couple minutes. So now all that's left to do is add our fats and add our flavorings. So I'm using unsalted butter that's really soft. If I press my finger into it, it's quite soft. And I'm also using just an ounce of Crisco. And I like using Crisco in this recipe because Crisco has emulsifiers in it. So the emulsifiers are going to help you have a smooth product despite some of the stabilizers and confectioner's glaze that are in the candy corn. If you wanna leave out the Crisco, by all means leave it out. Just add an extra ounce of butter, it's no big deal. So 
into my meringue right here all at once. Some people do it piece by piece, but all at once I'm going to add my butter that's very soft and my Crisco. I'm going to turn the mixer on and just let it be. give the bowl a scrape you can see it already looks like Swiss meringue buttercream. Before I turn my mixer back on I'm also going to add a pinch of salt back on to blend this the rest of the way. The only thing left to do at this point is add a bit more flavor. So I'm going to add just a little bit of vanilla extract just for a touch of flavor. I don't want to overwhelm the flavor of the candy corn with the vanilla. So just a little bit there. And then some honey. Honey is the main flavoring or the traditional flavoring in candy corn. I was actually researching candy corn. Apparently the recipe hasn't changed for like, I don't know, since the 1950s or 60s. Something like that, it's crazy. All right, so in with the honey that all in the bowl there and then I'll give this one final mix until it's nice and fluffy and it'll be ready to frost some cupcakes. So simple I can smell the candy corn and look at how luscious and smooth this is. Some nice beautiful swirls. And then of course, we have to top these with just a few more candy corns, just so everyone gets excited about what they're eating. So there you guys have it, candy corn Swiss meringue buttercream. You know, I was so excited when I came up with this recipe and I've been testing it. I didn't find it anywhere else online, so I really hope that you guys love it. If you want the recipe for my candy corn Swiss meringue buttercream, head on over to my blog, bakingwithdan.com. I'll also put the link to the recipe in the description box below of this video. And don't forget to subscribe to Baking with Dan on YouTube. Give this video a thumbs up, give it a like, share it. If you have any questions, just hit me in the comments below and I promise I'll get back to you. Happy fall, happy baking, and stay sweet with this candy corn Swiss meringue buttercream.